Welcome back everybody. Here we are doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles and today we are doing lesson number 195. What are you grateful for today? Let's keep that in mind as we go through this one. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Gratitude is a lesson hard to learn for those who look upon the world amiss. The most they can do is see themselves as better off than others. And they try to be content because another seems to suffer more than they. How pitiful and deprecating are such thoughts. For who has cause for thanks while others have less cause? And who could suffer less because he sees another suffers more? Your gratitude is due to him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world. It is insane to offer thanks because of suffering but it is equally insane to fail in gratitude to who, to one who offers you the certain means whereby all pain is healed and suffering replaced with laughter and with happiness. Nor could the even partly sane refuse to take the steps which he directs and follow in the way he sets before them to escape a prison that they thought contained no door to the deliverance they now perceive. Your brother is your enemy because you see him in you see in him the rival for your peace. Ooh. Wait, I'm not even done reading that sentence, but I want to go back into that. Your brother is your enemy because you see in him the rival for your peace. A plunder who takes his joy from you and leaves you nothing but a black despair so bitter and relentless that there is no hope remaining now is vengeance all there is to wish for now can you but try to bring him down to lie in death with you as useless as yourself as little left within his grasping fingers as in yours Whew. you do not offer god your gratitude because your brother is more slave than you nor could you sanely be enraged if he seems freer love makes no compromises and gratitude can only be sincered if it be joined to love. We offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things will find their freedom. It will never be that some are loosed while others still are bound. For who can bargain in the name of love? And I think what this paragraph is telling us is that as long as we perceive others to be worse off than us or better off than us nobody's free so we are one means our experience is also equal there's like this equanimity across all humans yeah and we get hung up on that sympathy pity yeah okay or jealousy i guess that's the the way the pendulum swings Therefore give thanks, but in sincerity, and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you. The sick, the weak, the needy and afraid, and those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain, who offer, who suffer cold or hunger, or who walk the way of hatred and a path of death. So yeah, that's, that's like repeating what I just said whatever the situation is for whoever it is that you're interacting with we're all equal all these go with you let us not compare ourselves with them for thus we split them off from our awareness of the unity we share with them as they must share with us we thank our father for one thing alone that we are separate from no living thing and therefore one with him and we rejoice that no exceptions ever can be made which would reduce our wholeness nor impair or change our function to complete the one who is in who is himself completion we give thanks for every living thing for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing and we fail to recognize the gifts of god to us and i feel like that's to me what just drops in is like do the course out in nature because 
as like uh, there's flies flying around, the bees are buzzing, I can hear the fish jumping, I feel the sunshine. It does promote this idea of oneness while you're doing the course. And I feel like that probably amplifies the effects of, of how it's coming into your mind-body complex and how your consciousness is amplifying these teachings you know, from, from you and out into eternity. Okay, uh, then let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while. We offer thanks for them. For if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us. An ancient door is swinging free again. A long forgotten word re-echoes in our memory and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. I'm losing the sun a little bit. <laughs> Walk then in gratitude the way of love. For hatred is forgotten when we lay comparisons aside. Don't compare yourself to other people. Ah. What more remains as obstacle to peace? The fear of God is now undone at last, and we forgive without comparing, as acknowledged by the ducks. Thus we cannot choose to overlook some things and yet retain some other things still locked away as sins. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude, for you will see that everything has earned the right to love by being loving, even as yourself. Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice, and revenge. So that message is for someone out there, for me as well, okay? We have been given everything. If we refuse to recognize it, we are not entitled, therefore, to our bitterness and to a self-perception which regards us in a place of merciless pursuit where we are badgered ceaselessly and pushed about without care, without thought or care for us or for our future. Gratitude becomes the single thought we substitute for these insane perceptions. God has cared for us and called us son. Can there be more than this? Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of. Thank you. Gratitude goes hand in hand with love and where one is, the other must be found. For gratitude is but an aspect of the love which is source of all creation. God gives thanks to you, his son, for being what you are, his own completion and the source of love along with him. Your gratitude to him is one with his to you. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude. And thus we go who walk the way to God. All right, that's the course version, the original, Lesson 195. Now let's get that Jesus remix and see what A Year of Forgiveness has to say about this. Lesson 195, love is the way I walk in gratitude. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know as Jesus. You have so much to be grateful for. You are here residing in this temporary vehicle, giving yourself the opportunity to find love. What a thing to be grateful for. You have been given the means to transform your mind from suffering to peace. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. You are given many encounters with your brothers and sisters as opportunities to forgive. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. Your body seems to function and get you moving around the world in which you have this purpose. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. You have so much to be grateful for, yet your mind can find that one thing it does not have or that one trespass somebody has committed against you and the multiplicity of things for which you could be grateful disappears in the darkness of judgment and the belief in sin. Man, do we do that to ourselves. When you judge, believe in sin, Focus on that one person in the whole world that has done something wrong that you decide you should never have been allowed. You give up the entire world. You give up the peace that is your natural right. It is a choice. You do it through free will. You do not realize because nobody has taught you the consequences of judgment. Here we teach you the true consequences of judgment. To judge another, you lose everything. 
your peace and the appreciation of every single thing around you. You know when you have a resentment running in your mind, hatred or a chip on your shoulder. How many people walk around with a chip on their shoulder? Come on now. Everything disappears except that low frequency thought, that belief you have that you keep going back to. And that's another thing. We intentionally go back to that one thing or that one person. And God knows I am not innocent here. It's like, why do we do that? Why do we choose that yuckiness when we could have loveliness? Ah, so forgive, walk in gratitude and know that you will be rewarded with love, a connection to love, a desire to love, and know you are a loving being. When you use your free will to judge, you unplug yourself from the source of all love and you feel terrible. You mistakenly blame others for their behavior, which makes you feel bad. Truthfully, it is your judgment that makes you feel bad, and that is a choice. You do not have to do it. When you choose gratitude, you realize just how insignificant those minor trespasses are. They don't compare to peace, love, and the ability to have happiness. I am that one you know as Jesus, and we will speak to you again tomorrow. What are you grateful for? Yeah, maybe today is a day of like, don't complain about anything. If you catch yourself starting to be like funky about stuff or like mm, you have a little list of shit, don't even, just don't, just don't. Be grateful today. Love to all. See you tomorrow.